Good morning. Welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. Um, I feel it in me that it's almost the Sunday yum tomorrow. And so today we're doing the yum of the side body. So have something to sit on. Um, uh, if you're sitting on a chair, that's amazing. Or if you wanted a block or a book or a pillow or something like that, because we will be seated for the last part of the class. And um, yeah, the yum of the side body, really deepening into our rib cage and mobilizing. Uh, so come lie on the floor. Let's begin. I'm not sure we're going to stand today. I don't think so. <laughs> so great, come. So landing on the floor, knees are bent. And then squeeze your right hip towards your right shoulder. And then come back to neutral. And then squeeze your left hip towards your left shoulder. And then come back to center. So your shoulder hip move one side and then come back. So we're doing a coordination, but we're lying on the floor. And just travel smoothly from left to right. I've lifted my elbows off the floor. My hands are on my chest. My arms are off the floor. Just gives me a smoother surface to uh, coordinate on. Side body right, side body left. So as we shorten the right side, we're lengthening the left side. And as we shorten the left side, we're lengthening the right side. So can you feel both sides as you lengthen one side and shorten the other? Nice, come back to center and pause. Nice, arms are wide out to the side. Have your feet so they're hip distance apart and then drop both knees down towards the right side. And you're lengthening into the left side of your ribs and you're shortening into the right. And just travel from side to side, noticing how one side of your ribs is shortening and one side of your ribs are lengthening. Just in the twist, naturally. One side is being shortened, the knees are going that way. One side is being lengthened, the knees are going the other way. Nice, and then move into gliders. So left knee travels up towards the right shoulder. Which side is being lengthened and which side has been shortened or is it a combination? I feel a funny combination of both. If I draw a line at my waist, Above and below my waist, one is shortening, one is lengthening, and the other one is lengthening, the other one shortening, is my sense. Feel in your body how that is as you glide from one side to the other side. Nice, come back up to center. Feet are hip distance apart, arms are long beside you, and then roll up along your spine to lift up. And when you've lifted up through your hips and your bum, your both sides of your ribs should be even with each other. In theory, you're the same length on both sides here. And then roll down and land, and then do it again. And notice, is that true? Are both sides of your body from the right hip to the right shoulder, from the left hip to the left shoulder, are you equal on both sides? So for me, I feel like I'm so much bigger or more connected on one side than the other. I feel longer on one side than the other. And not that I'm side bending, but just it just feels like a bigger side. So as you travel up and down, how do you sense into the side of your body? As you roll up, as you roll down. Poppy. Poppy's licking the, the water out of my plants. <laughs> nice. Next time that you rise, pause on the rise. Shoulders are wide, arms are settled on the floor, hips are lifted. And then very slowly sway your knees a little bit to the right. 
and then sway your knees a little bit to the left. So as you do that, you're going to be lengthening into the side of your hip into a side bend. And you're going to be shortening into your hip into a, a something like a, a not side bend. Is that a bend? A bend and a side bend. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> not so clear. So just sway your knees from side to side. And as I do this, I'm rolling onto the blades of my feet. So I feel like I'm gliding onto the sides of my feet as I roll one way and as I roll the other way. For some of you, this will be a big movement. For some of you, this will be a small movement. No matter, the benefit is there no matter how big or small it is. Drop your bum to the floor and pause. Just take a moment. Nice. So draw your right knee up onto your chest and squeeze it in towards you. And then lengthen your left leg long. And then draw your left leg over towards the right as far as it'll go. And then over towards the left as far as it'll go. Just feel that scoop towards the right. And then move towards the left. Scoop towards the right. And then move towards the left. And notice the side bend in your hip as you scoop towards the right. So you're going to reach your arm, left arm overhead and let it float just above the floor or somewhere that it feels comfortable as you scoop and then bend your elbow. Reach as you scoop and then bend your elbow. So as you come back to center, bend your elbow. As you scoop your foot to the left, right, lengthen your arm overhead, bend your elbow. Maybe we'll do both. Maybe bend both elbows and both knees. So left elbow, left knee touch. Reach long. Scoop your leg over towards the right. Nice. Bend your elbow, bend your knee. Lengthen both. And then scoop your left leg over towards the right. Bend your knee. Scoop your leg over towards the right. Bend your knee. I have Poppy with me today. She's a bit of a, she's a bit weirder and weirder all the time. Nice. Change sides. Left leg up towards you. Reach your right leg long and just scoop your right leg over towards the left and then back. Left and then back. Left and then back. Left. And then back. Nice. Bring your right elbow, right knee together. We're evolving. And then reach your right arm long as you scoop your right leg over towards the left. Bend your knee. Touch. Lengthen and scoop. Bend your knee. Touch. Lengthen and scoop. Nice. One more time. Bend your knee long. Lengthen and scoop. Cool. Both feet to the floor and just pause. Cool. So bring your right arm long beside your ear and then roll over onto your right arm. So your head is resting on your right arm and your knees are straight out from your hips. Bring your left hand to rest on the floor like scaffolding and then lengthen your left leg long so that it's straight down towards the end of your mat. So there's a straight line from my right arm, which is towards the top of my mat, and my left leg, which is towards the bottom of my mat. And they're trying to reach as far apart as they can. So reach into your right fingers, and reach into your left toes. More. And I feel like the whole right side of my body or the right side of my ribs have lifted off the floor in the persistence of the reaching of that uh, left leg. And then slowly let the left leg lift. And as you lift the leg, your right ribs will land down and then lower your leg and reach and your right ribs will lift up. So lift your left leg, you push into the floor, reach your left leg and your ribs lift. Lift your left leg towards the ceiling Reach your left leg towards the end of your mat. Lift your left leg and reach. Nice, one more time. Lift your left leg, pause there. Feel the pushing of your ribs into the floor, the lifting of your leg. 
and then reach your toes as far as you can and even further feel like your leg is dragging you down towards it nice bend your left knee draw it up touch your elbow and then stretch your left leg long bend your left knee touch stretch your left leg long nice last time bend your left knee touch your elbow lengthen your left leg long cool roll onto your back pause for a moment i feel a big difference between one side of my body and the other and then you're gonna come to the other side so reach your left arm long beside your ear roll over onto your left arm have your knees so they're straight out from your hips have your right hand so it's on the floor like scaffolding and then reach your right leg long so that you're reaching down towards the end of your mat with your right foot and your left arm is reaching up towards the top of your mat or beyond the top of your mat and feel like they're both pulling in opposite directions it feels really nice nice let your right leg lift as high as it'll go and when i lift my right ribs come to land on the floor and then reach and my ribs lift off the floor lift my leg as high as it'll go and then reach your leg down towards the end of your mat lift your leg and reach nice one more time lift your leg pause on the lifting and then reach your leg and pause in the reaching long as you can get as reachy as you can get reaching into your left fingers right toes super bend your knee let your knee touch your elbow and then stretch your leg long as super long as it'll go bend your knee let it touch and then reach last one bend your knee let it touch and then stretch your leg long pause 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 feel like it's pulling you down in the direction of itself when my ribs are lighter on the floor this side of my ribs doesn't move as much always one side moves less bend your knee come all the way to land on the floor cool so if you have a, a block or a book or i have a a carpet that i have that i sit on um so come sit on something a little bit lifted for your bum okay nice pause there just feel we did loads of side body stuff already so your legs are long and just bring your hands to your rib cage and like a typewriter push your ribs from left to right you can be doing all of this by the way sitting in a chair if you feel like sitting on the floor is difficult for your lower back and legs so typewriter left to right i'm pushing my ribs left i'm pushing my ribs right nice and then push your ribs forward and push your ribs backwards forwards and backwards i'm now going to circle the place that i'm holding on to how would i circle that in a big circle and then circle in the other direction nice cool roll your shoulders big circles into your shoulders And then roll your shoulders in the other direction. Nice. Make fists out of your hands. Roll into your wrists. Roll into your ankles at the same time. We'll multitask. And then roll in the other direction. Nice. Open your toes wide. Open your fingers wide. Open your eyes wide. And then slowly, keeping your toes and fingers wide, just turn your head towards the left. Wiggle your toes. Wiggle your fingers. And then slowly keep wiggling your toes and fingers, turn your head towards the right. And again, turn your head towards the left, relax your arms, relax your feet. 
And then turn your head towards the right. Nice. So bring your right hand across and just rest it on the front of your chest. So this to the front of your chest. I'm going to go under my microphone. So front of your chest. And then reach your left hand up towards the ceiling. And reach your left hand as high up as it can go. And then pull your left elbow down towards the floor. Left hand reaches up. And then left hand reaches down. Or left elbow comes down. So just feel that left hand goes up as high as it'll go. I feel it from the deep of my belly. And then elbow comes down. And again, reaching up. And feel it like that yum of side body. So the commitment I had for focus was that I would give up cream, which is ongoing such a, oh my God, it's so amazing how deeply cream had woven into my life anyways. And also I'm doing a yoga practice in the evening, which is turning out to be such a deep joy in my day. And so often I'll end up just wiggling around into the side body. It's very delicious. Nice. Other side. So bring your right, left hand across, bring it to the front of your chest. I'm kind of fingers are on my collarbones and then reach your right arm up and then pull your right elbow down. Right arm up and then pull your right elbow down and really feel the yum. It's like, oh, that's just stretching into something that's just so glorious to stretch. And again, one more time. Super. Both hands up, lengthen, looking up. We were doing this yesterday in our squatting position. And then pull both elbows down towards the floor. Both elbows up, or both arms up, lengthening up. And then pull both elbows down towards the floor. And again, up. And then both elbows down. Nice. Bring your left hand, right hand across, hold on to the front of your chest, and then reach your left hand forward, and then pull your left elbow back into lawnmower. Forward, and then back. And so as I do this, my right shoulder is being moved naturally by the movement of my left hand moving forward, my right shoulder is moving back, left elbow moving back, my right shoulder moves forward. But I'm not purposefully moving my right shoulder. It's being moved by the action that I'm creating on the left. So really focus on the left reaching, the left pulling back. One more time. Left reaching, left pulling back. Other side, right hand across, right arm reaching, right elbow back. How smooth can you make this movement? Hmm. One more time. Super. So come sit into a cross-legged position if that feels comfortable or come, you know, stay as you are with your legs long or if you're sitting on a chair, that's wonderful. So reach both arms forward in front of you. And then bring your right hand across and bring it to the front of your chest. And then sweep your left hand over to your right knee and twist towards the right. And I'm drawing my chest more and more towards the right. And my right elbow, I'm trying to point towards the right more and more. That's going to pull, because it's resting on my chest, my whole chest is turning towards the right. Nice. And now reach your right hand up towards the ceiling. And then lean that right hand over so that your ear is coming down towards your left knee. And then pull your right elbow down. For me, it's down towards poppy, <laughs> down towards the right. And then lengthen your right arm over towards the left. And so I'm staying twisted. My chest is still turned towards my right knee as I lengthen over towards the left. And as I pull my elbow down towards the right, last time, over towards the left, and then down. Nice. Change legs. So bring your legs out forward, and then come into the opposite cross of your legs. I think that's it. <laughs> 
bring both hands forward bring your left hand in front of your chest and then sweep your right hand over to your left knee and try and draw your left elbow more and more towards the left but your hand is on your chest so the whole chest has to move nice and then draw your elbow down to your side reach your left hand up towards the ceiling and then side bend towards the right and then pull your elbow down towards the left and i'm still twisted towards the left knee side bend to the right and then elbow comes down side bend right how deep can you go in wellness like i feel really like i'm meeting a such an incredible sense of lengthening through my rib cage one more time super come back to center both legs long reach your fingers up towards the ceiling and then lean over towards the right and then lean over towards the left right and left super bring your feet wide wherever you are walk your hands either side of the left thigh and then pull your right elbow back and then slide your right hand down your left leg pull your right elbow back actually we're going to go do wing wing um so pull your elbow back so your fingers are beside the side of your cheek pull your right elbow back into wing and then dive towards your left foot right elbow back into wing and as i come into wing i really pull it down into swan almost and then dive down towards the left foot wing into swan so swan is where i'm pulling my elbow down towards poppy <laughs> and then dive wing swan and then dive pause in the dive wherever you are reaching towards that left foot nice come all the way back turn your chest towards the right side pull your left elbow back into wing and then dive towards your right foot wing swan swan is where you pull your elbow down towards your hip and then reach wing swan and reach wing swan i wonder beth Ann, how you're getting on with this one i know the um, yeah and then deirdre i know you love swan and colette awesome to have you with me <laughs> so amazing all these all you guys are with me it's quite amazing what are you how are you finding this whole focus thing pause with your left hand towards your right foot i'm really enjoying it but then i i just love this thing anyways <laughs> nice come all the way back up come lie on the floor or you can come into a seated position and just pause in a meditative uh, like where you're sitting up and meditating or come lie on the floor and just pause lying on the floor and just feel your breath in your belly Can you sense the aliveness in the sides of your waist, the sides of your hips, the sides of your rib cage, into your armpits, shoulders? As you breathe, is there more space for your breath? nice so stay there pause on the floor how lovely um very very wonderful to be here and uh to be deepening into focus um i will see you all tomorrow for a true sunday yum well this one was pretty good we didn't stand up but sunday yum typically we don't even sit up <laughs> 
Um, so it'll be really nice to see you then and uh, have a wonderful day. I'm making ketchup today. I'm making my cider uh, vinegar, fire cider, which is like onions and garlic and ginger and turmeric and uh, all and honey in vinegar. And I keep it for the winter for chests and colds and stuff. Uh, ketchup, I'm looking forward to making ketchup. And uh, yeah, just pottering around at Saturday to be lovely. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow for Sunday. Um, ciao, ciao, slan, slan. Thank you.